Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try the, this DiGiorno 4 cheese. This one is the traditional crust frozen pizza. Um, can't not talk today. It's 9.2 ounces or 261 grams. And like I said, this is just the traditional crust. We bought these at Meyer. It was $3.69, which is a little expensive for, for, for a, um, a frozen pizza, but we'll, we'll see. So the oven directions are always the best way to do it if you can do an oven. But uh, of course, on you don't usually have an oven at work, so we're not going to do the oven. And they also have a microwave and bake. Micro bake. Where I, I'm assuming you're thawing it out and then you're throwing it in the oven for just a little while. Um, yeah, then you bake it for a little while. So we're not going to be doing that one either. We're just going to do the pure microwave directions. So we're going to pull the, pull the tear strip along the carton edge and peel back the carton. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. You're basically folding it backwards on itself. Um, remove the packaging and place pizza on the silver side of crisping platform and place near the edge and the turntable. Microwave high as falls. And I like this one because they give you different um, times based on how powerful your microwave is. So 600 to 800 is 330. 800 to 1100 is three minutes. And if you have anything greater than 1100 uh, watt to for two minutes and 30 seconds, I have, I think I have an 1100 watt microwave. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to hit it for three, but then I'm going to be watching it to make sure the cheese doesn't, uh, um, once the cheese starts melting in the middle, then we're good. So um, I can see where the thing is. Here it is. It's right here on the side. So we pull that. And then this opens up like this. Like that. And like that. Pull your pizza out. Your little tray sits right there. You take your micro, you take your pizza out of your plastic, put it on there, and then get it in the microwave. That way it, it toasts the bottom a little bit. So I'm going to get this out of the package, put it in there, and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I let it go the full three minutes for my microwave. Again, your microwave uh, times will vary depending on what it is. So I've got a plate here so I can cut it. Let's see how easily it comes off here. Of course, you can cut it with a knife if you want to. I just happen to have a pizza cutter here. Get out of there. One little piece of cheese stuck. Looks pretty nice. I don't know how crispy it is. I mean, it's okay. I'm just gonna cut it into fours. Actually, I might go ahead and be a little weird, but for the video, it's easier if I get smaller pizzas, pieces of the pizza to deal with. So yeah, so there it is. So um, that's pretty thick crust, honestly. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute. I'll be back. I gave it just a minute to cool off. Um, here's the piece I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna flip it up. You can see where the backside got a little toasty, but the rest of the crust is pretty soft still. But um, it doesn't feel bad. It is very thick though. It's a, it's a lot of crust and very little cheese and sauce. So you really see right there how thick it is. Mm. I like the flavor of the um, of the cheese. And I like the the crust is a little it's a little soft. If you like a softer crust, you'll love this. Um, I like mine a little crispier on the bottom. It's not, you know, like in a bad thing, bad way. It's soft, but it, it is a little soft, almost, um, almost pretzel-like or a, a bun-like. Yeah, it's more bready than pizza crust. Um, if you put it in the oven, it would make a world of difference as far as the texture of that goes. Flavor-wise, it's pretty decent. Their sauce is a little, a little sweet, but it's not super sweet, which I kind of like. I don't really like a sweet, sweet uh, pizza sauce. Um, this one has just a little seasoning in the sauce where you can taste it. It's not spicy by any means, but there's a little um, seasoning there. Not bad. There's no, um, when you're getting this, at least the cheese one, it's primarily crust. And then you, um, you're getting like, uh, um, some toppings and stuff on top. You know, now that I think about it, I don't know that I ever gave the calories for this. As a matter of fact, I know I didn't. Um, let me show them to you. Now let me say what it is and then I'll show you the rest of it. It's 900, 690 calories for the whole pizza. I just forgot to show it. Focus. There you 
So there are 690 calories and there's the other information. It's completely forgot. Yeah. So 690 calories for, for a decent size uh, pizza. I don't think that's bad. Um, calorie wise, it's not bad. Flavor wise, it's it's good. It's not the most spectacular thing I've ever had, but it's it's as good. It's on the same level as all the other uh, frozen pizzas out there. I think it's good. Um, I do wish the crust is thickened, uh, crust up, crisped up just a little bit in the microwave. Um, some of it gets really good and crispy. I think it's just because these are so thick that um, you may get a little toasty on the bottom, but it doesn't really make it crispy. So. Um, if it was a little thinner, it may have made it better. And they do have thin crust ones as well. This is just the traditional crust. So with that being said, if you can do these in the oven, do them in the oven. Like if you're gonna make them for um, yourself or your kids or whatever for dinner, uh, put them in the oven, they'll be 100 times better. Um, Microwave-wise, they're pretty decent. I mean, they did a good job of, of, uh, of making them to where you can microwave them. Just know that it's gonna be a little doughy on the bread. So I'm gonna give this one I'm gonna give it like a three and a half out of five. Um, it's a little better than average. Like it's a, it's not a blah meal. It's just not, it's not just a plain regular meal. It does have some good flavoring in the sauce and stuff. And I do like the texture of the crust. Like I said, I just wish it was a little crispier. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.